I'm Joe Davidson, founder of Oklahoma Joe's and Barbecue Hall of Famer. Today, I have the great pleasure of being at the Greystone Castle Sporting Club in Mingus, Texas. This is a fun place to be at. Mesquite trees everywhere, wildlife everywhere, and guess what else? Elk out here. So if you like beef and beef tenderloin or prime rib, wait till you taste elk like this. It's gonna knock your socks off. Now the ingredients today, I've got both a tenderloin, that's the interior portion of the back, and then I've got an entire back strap. Look at that bad boy. Coarse ground black pepper, coarse ground salt, my Oklahoma Joe's brisket rub, duck fat, and freshly minced garlic. Now the process here, it's just like you would do on beef. It's got silver skin on this. So that shiny portion all the way across there, that's silver skin right there. You don't want any silver skin left on either one of these. Now on this tenderloin, really the heart of this is right through here. That's what we're after. That's the best piece of meat on an elk, I guarantee you. You'll take your knife and slip underneath it, just like that, and then just kind of slide along the top of that. and. Just keep your knife blade angled up when you're doing it, and it's gonna start taking that off of there. Then this other aspect of this is separating this little trim from it. So I'm taking that off as well, all the way across there. Dispose of that. Silver skin's one of those things, it's like a burial on the interior of a rib. If you don't get it off, none of the spices can actually permeate through silver skin. Now, for the big boy. This is where you got a lot of silver skin right here. So if you'll notice, it's all the way across this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into this and keep your knife blade angled up and start coming across there. Hold this end, slide across. And this may take you 10 or 15 minutes to do the whole thing. And I got that, voila. That's that piece. Now let's do it again. Just, you have to keep going across it as you're doing this. So again, make an incision, slide up, start sliding across, and keep the knife blade angled up. You don't want to be cutting into your meat too much. And it just slides all the way out of there. Okay, now all the silver skin's off and it's time for the rub. I'm gonna first of all come through and spray it with duck fat. This is gonna help all the spices adhere to it. First thing I'm gonna do is apply the brisket rub to it. Rub that across, follow up with a little salt. black pepper. Now the minced garlic. And then just rub it in. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side as well. These bad boys are ready to go on the smoker. I'm gonna be using mesquite wood with the lump charcoal to cook this at. We wanna be at 275 to 300 degrees during the cooking process. Small pieces like this, I mean, these are gonna cook so fast. I'm talking about 30 minutes. This will be up to 125 degrees internal. That's where I like to take them to. That's gonna be doing a little after cook and it's gonna be that perfect medium rare when it's served. Same thing, this will take no more than an hour and a half, two hours at the most, because it's not that big in diameter. So always be monitoring that with your internal meat thermometer. Okay, just gonna add a few chunks of mesquite wood to this. And that way I've got some fresh smoke on it when I first put those elk loins on there. We're up to temp, so now it's time to put these elk pieces of goodness on the smoker. So let's open up the door. I'm gonna put these dead center of the smoker. And 
And this one a little further to the left. Now, this is where the magic happens inside this grill. Whew. Okay, the elk is perfect now. It's at 125 degrees. It's gonna do a little after cook once we pull it off. So we're gonna let it rest for 15 minutes and then we're gonna slice it and serve it. And golly, I can't wait. Look at that. Okay, let's let them rest for 15 minutes. Then we'll slice and serve. Okay, we've let it rest for 15 minutes. Let's slice this and have a look at what we got going on. And then I'm just gonna layer these around the, the plate, kind of shingling them across. All right. Now we're gonna slice this back strap. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's the perfect medium rare. Ooh. Do these, just a straight cut. I'm cutting them about an inch thick. We're gonna serve this with a beautiful horseradish sauce. So you can drizzle it over the top of them or just on the side. So you've got a little bit of mess there, a little bit over here. Same thing on this one, there and there. And this is ready to serve. I love serving this with asparagus, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, and then I love fingerling potatoes with rosemary and butter seared over a hot grill as well. So that's it. You're gonna love this recipe, I promise you. And bon appetit.